Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel Sky Pilot here. Today I'm going to be talking about a little bit of stuff in this box here and if you haven't guessed it already by the title and by the, the couple of quads I've got here this is the Express LRS entry from my good friends at Beta FPV it's a new module setup you've probably heard of the LRS equipment that is hitting the markets today what's good about this 100% compatible with Betaflight and it is open source okay let's open up and see what goodies we've got inside Beta FPV Nano TX module a fairly comprehensive guide here and if you think this is a complicated setup you are very much mistaken because this is really really easy to find your quads with as I shall discuss I've been supplied with a couple of the nano receivers here I'm going to stick them on my X Knight 4 and my 95X currently I'm running TBS Crossfire on these so I am going to take out the TBS and I'm going to put in my nano receivers and give them a test run and see exactly how they perform and how far they go okay, let's open up the module bag here and have a look at what it looks like this is the 2.4 gig version comes with a nice little safety cap on top there always handy to have this is the 2.4 gig package so it comes with your normal sticky type antenna or this small 2.4 gig what they call a mox on antenna and as you can see it's significantly smaller than your standard tbs crossfire setup which we have here if you're going to be flying the long range stuff guys um i.e a number of kilometers away probably stick with something like the tbs crossfire however the 2.4 gig is certainly going to be enough uh, to fly your whoops and your fours around without any hassle at all. That brings me on to my next main problem is I don't have my TBS Tango 2 which this is compatible with. Um, it is compatible with a number of radios, the x Light series the tango 2 and the x90 series and also i believe with a mod with a module bay stick it on your radio master tx16 etc however due to some postage shortages and some other problems relating to the c word i cannot get my hands on a tbs tango 2 which is what i really want to use to get this up and running I have managed to find a supplier and I'm hoping it's here sometime very soon. Let's just put our Moxon antenna onto our unit here. So looking at this actual device, a few important parts to it. We've got our SMKE port up the top there, which is a male. This is a heat shrink, this which is actually steel so we can disperse a little bit of heat if it gets too hot it's a small led here there's a power and bind button here and we've got a usb type c port underneath for our firmware upgrades and configuring etc and on the rear we have a number of pin ports so these are crossfire ground 5 volt to 12 volt etc on the back but you won't need to worry too much about that because that sticks into your radio. Like I said, this is the 2.4 gig setup. Our output power milliwatts from your RF is what, either 100, 250 or 500 milliwatts. So let's stick our MOX on onto our extender there. It looks like they've got a nice little round protective film covering that plug there so it's just a matter of taking that off and pushing it straight on like so uh, nice and easy 
Another great thing about this guys is, especially if you are getting into the hobby and you are finding the TBS gear is quite expensive, which it is. These diamond antennas, um, all your bits and bobs can add up to quite a few hundred dollars. Whereas this setup here, um, everything you're looking at in my hand, you can get for around 60 bucks Australian, so uh, US around $40. So that's really, really cheap and even cheaper still are the receivers as well. If you're looking for something slightly different with your receivers, open source, Beta FPV Express LRS is definitely for you. While I'm talking about it, please check out the links below. Lots and lots of stuff you can get with this Express LRS, and I've left some nice little shortcuts down below so you guys can jump straight to all the goodies without having to search around. This is the 2.4 gig version. The 915 is slightly larger. It's more so similar to my long range TBS. One of the best things about this, which I will demonstrate in my next video, is the ease of binding. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the binding process. TBS is a little bit easier. Um, if you're using something like XM Plus and you've got to get your magnifying glass out and your little itty bitty screwdriver and push buttons simultaneously and put your smoke stoppers on it can be a real pain in the backside but this is fantastic in that you put the receiver onto your quad power your quad up press the button job's done which is ideal for people who are starting out in the hobby short press of the power button does the binding long press of the power button you will enter your power options setting which allows you to switch between the power options available i've thought of everything so a little led down here if it's blue you are on 100 milliwatts rf output if it's purple you're on 250 and if it's red you are on 500 nice and easy and simple to use let's take a quick look at the cool little receivers here what do we get in this package here a nano receiver user manual uh, excellent it tells you your beta flight settings and all you need to do to bind so that's really really handy a nice tidy little antenna it looks quite sturdy little sma plug on the on the end there a heat shrink and some wires like normal if we take a look at the little receiver here we'll see it is very similar to that of the crossfire now we can see a small gold button there now don't mistake that small gold button for a binding button what that does is it activates the unit's wi-fi abilities and the little white tab you may or may not be able to see just down here that is your wi-fi sender so that allows you to do updates etc via Wi-Fi which is really really handy you don't actually need to press the Wi-Fi button if you wish to access the Wi-Fi it automatically after about 20 30 seconds it'll automatically go into Wi-Fi mode but if you want to hot press it then they give you a button to do so anyway there you have it guys a real quick intro into this Express LRS light setup what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wait for my TBS Tango to come. I'm going to buy the Micro Nano module adapter for this setup so that I can use it as quickly as I can on the rear of my TX16S Max Radio Master. My next video, I shall do some installing on my 95X here. And I'll show you guys how to bind it and how to set it up on your radio if you have a radio like mine and we'll do some range testing and see how far it goes in the field and how it performs drop us a comment let us know what you think of the express lrs are you likely to sway from your conventional tbs setup certainly a lot of positives with this guys a lot smaller and a heck of a lot cheaper and if you're just used to flying around the backyard or you know down at the oval or somewhere where you're not looking at long ranging it i think this is going to be the way to go for sure thanks very much beta fpv as i said check them out that would be awesome and i'll see you guys again real soon
take it easy happy flying see you next time bye for now